It was a typical day at Los Angeles International Airport. Passengers hurrying to catch flights, heads buried in phones, unaware that one of the country's most wanted cyber criminals was walking among them. But for the REACT task force, their target was in plain sight. Joel Ortiz wasn't your average criminal. He was young, confident, and dripping with luxury. In his bag, he carried a quarter of a million dollars, freshly converted from stolen cryptocurrency. But it wasn't just his taste in fashion or money that made him an easy target. It was his need to show it all off. If you just stole five million dollars, what would you do with that money? And the answer is always something dumb. Just months earlier, Joel had been a promising student, a former valedictorian. But here he was, surrounded by law enforcement, caught red-handed. The question is, how did he get here? And who exactly was pulling the strings? Before the designer clothes, before the headlines, Joel Ortiz was just a kid growing up in the heart of Boston. The Ortiz family lived in the kind of place where dreams often fell out of reach, a modest public housing project where making ends meet was a daily battle. From a young age, Joel was different. His teachers noticed it. His friends did too. He had a hunger for knowledge, especially anything related to technology. While other kids were playing video games, Joel was dismantling old computers and figuring out how they worked. As he grew older, his talent only sharpened. In high school, Joel's hard work paid off. He graduated as valedictorian, an honor that made him a beacon of hope for his family and his community. He earned a scholarship to study information technology, and it seemed like he was on a path to success. Friends described him as reserved, maybe a little awkward, but undeniably brilliant. But it was in the digital world that Joel truly came alive. Through online forums, he found communities where people spoke his language, the language of code. Some of these communities were harmless, filled with young tech enthusiasts trading ideas. But others, they were the shadows of the internet, where hacking wasn't just a skill, it was a way to make fast money. He was drawn in. To him, it was just another puzzle to solve, another boundary to push, and maybe a ticket to something greater. At first, Joel's skills were just a personal achievement, something he quietly perfected. But as he explored deeper into online forums, he stumbled across places where coding was used for more than just projects or games. In these digital underworlds, knowledge wasn't shared just to impress. It was traded for power, influence, and of course, money. One forum, OG Users, caught his attention. It was an underground marketplace, a gathering place for hackers and cyber criminals, where you could buy or sell social media accounts and swap techniques. This wasn't the world of IT classes and code challenges. This was the Wild West of the internet, where rules barely existed. As he spent more time there, the allure became irresistible. These hackers were making thousands, even millions, with techniques Joel understood well. The only difference? They used them to take, to manipulate, and to profit. And in the world of cryptocurrency, a new frontier with few regulations, the opportunity was too great to ignore. One method in particular fascinated him, SIM swapping. By tricking telecom companies into transferring a target's phone number to a different SIM card, hackers could intercept messages and bypass two-factor authentication, effectively taking over their victims' accounts. It was a loophole, one the cybercrime community was exploiting ruthlessly, and Joel was about to step right in. He started small, testing the waters. At first, it was only a few thousand here, a few thousand there. But the thrill of it, the ease, the rush, the instant wealth, it hooked him. Soon, small gains weren't enough. He set his sights higher, targeting those who had the most to lose, cryptocurrency investors. And with each successful hack, his greed grew. It was a delicate balance. On one hand, he was a college student, attending classes, living a double life. On the other, he was a predator, lurking in the shadows, systematically draining the digital wallets of his targets. His online handles were whispered about in hacker circles, each successful heist adding to his growing reputation. 
But as the money poured in, Joel crossed an invisible line. He wasn't a student anymore. He was a criminal, and he wasn't about to stop. With each successful heist, Joel Ortiz's bank account swelled. This wasn't pocket change. He was raking in millions. By the time he'd perfected his sim-swapping schemes, he'd siphoned a total of $7.5 million from his victims. Cryptocurrency that he quickly turned into cash, all of it at his fingertips. Money was no object. The Joel Ortiz that once lived in public housing was gone replaced by a new persona, one draped in Gucci, Armani, and Louis Vuitton. He was a kid with millions to burn, and burn he did. Expensive cars, luxury hotels, first-class flights across the world, it was as if he couldn't spend the money fast enough. But it wasn't enough to live the high life. Joel wanted everyone to see it. On social media, he flaunted his newfound riches with abandon. Flashes of cash, designer clothes, luxury trips, to his followers, he was living the dream. What they didn't know was that every dollar he flaunted was stolen. He wasn't just spending, he was celebrating, intoxicated by his own success. To him, it must have felt like he was untouchable, a mastermind living a life of fame and fortune, laughing in the face of those he'd stolen from. But with each new purchase, each over-the-top social media post, Joel was leaving a trail. To him, it may have been harmless fun, a way to brag about his success, but to the cybercrime unit watching him closely, it was something else, a flashing neon sign pointing straight to him. All the while, his targets were left in the dark, watching helplessly as their savings vanished, drained by someone they couldn't see, someone they didn't know. To them, he was a ghost, but to the REACT task force tracking his every move, Joel Ortiz was becoming the most visible criminal in the world of cybercrime. He'd become a symbol of reckless greed, a college student transformed into a kingpin, his empire built on stolen cryptocurrency, and his reputation on the lies he sold online. But what Joel didn't realize was that his empire, built on deception and arrogance, was already on shaky ground. And the same money and fame that had catapulted him to success would soon become the very thing that brought him down. Behind the likes, the followers, and the flashy posts, Joel Ortiz was feeling the weight of the life he'd built. Each like, each comment, each new follower added to his fame, transforming him from a quiet tech student into an icon of wealth and luxury. He was a ghost in the real world, but online, he was untouchable. And yet, the cost of this fame was beginning to creep into his life in ways he hadn't anticipated. His family saw his sudden wealth with mixed emotions. How could a college student afford the clothes, the cars, the trips? Some were impressed, even proud, though confused by his vague explanations. Others felt something was wrong, but they couldn't put their finger on it. His family, his closest friends, no one dared to ask. But Joel could feel the questions piling up, lingering in the silence of their conversations. And deep down, he knew it was only a matter of time before the truth would come crashing down. He was starting to feel the loneliness that came with his double life. His friends from high school no longer recognized him. Even the ones who had been close didn't know this new Joel. It was as if he traded his past for a life where everything and everyone felt like a transaction. The more money he flaunted, the further he drifted from the person he once was, a gifted young man with dreams, now replaced by someone living a lie. And with fame came the false friends, those who were drawn to his lifestyle, not to him. The luxury, the parties, the clothes, all of it attracted people who wanted a taste of that wealth, a slice of the fame, but not the Joel who lived in public housing, who once worked hard for every grade. They saw the illusion he projected, and Joel played along, knowing he was just as much a stranger to them as they were to him. Yet, even as he felt this growing isolation, he couldn't stop. The allure of that online fame, the thrill of watching the likes roll in, had become his addiction. 
He was no longer just hacking accounts and stealing money. He was feeding a craving for validation that only came from flaunting his stolen wealth. It was a cycle, one he couldn't break. The more he posted, the more attention he got, and the more he felt he had to keep up appearances. And with every post, the noose tightened. Behind the wealth and the bravado was a young man trapped by his own ambition. His fame, his reputation, it had all become a prison, one he couldn't escape. He was a ghost in the lives of the people who loved him and a stranger to those who followed him. Joel was everywhere, and yet he was alone. Behind the scenes, Joel Ortiz's lavish lifestyle was attracting more than just social media followers. The REACT Task Force, a specialized cybercrime unit in Santa Clara, California, had been watching, and every flashy post, every expensive purchase, only sharpened their focus. REACT, an elite team dedicated to catching the digital criminals who thought they were untouchable. For them, Joel was exactly the kind of target they trained for brazen, overconfident, and above all, careless. His own social media posts painted a picture of where he'd been, what he bought, and when he'd been there. He wasn't hiding, he was flaunting. As we said, with each new post, Joel was leaving a digital trail, one that React traced with surgical precision. The designer clothes, the wads of cash, the luxury vacations, they all spoke volumes, each one a puzzle piece in React's growing case. They mapped out his movements, traced every purchase, and began connecting the dots between Joel and the victims he'd left bankrupt. But they knew they needed the perfect moment, the exact location, to finally bring him down. And then, in a move as bold as his lifestyle, Joel booked a flight to Europe. It was a risk, one he likely thought would cement his escape. But to react, it was the final piece of the puzzle. They prepared to intercept, setting a plan in motion that would put an end to Joel's empire of stolen wealth. At LAX, Joel walked confidently toward his gate, ready to start his life of luxury abroad. But he had no idea that every step he took was leading him closer to the end. The React officers closed in, quietly, methodically. In his mind, he was on top of the world. In reality, he was moments away from his downfall. In the blink of an eye, React surrounded him, ending his freedom as quickly as he'd taken his victim's fortunes. And in that moment, the man who thought he could escape the consequences finally faced them. For months, Joel Ortiz had lived like a king, surrounded by luxury and basking in the limelight. But here, in the cold, sterile corridors of LAX, reality hit hard. As the REACT Task Force officers closed in, his designer clothes and stacks of cash couldn't shield him from the consequences. In that instant, the man who thought he was invincible saw his empire crumble. He was arrested without resistance, his dreams of wealth and escape ending in silence, with only the sound of handcuffs clicking around his wrists. Just months after his arrest, Joel faced the reality of his actions in a California courtroom. The flashy outfits, the expensive trips, the stacks of stolen cash, they were all gone. In their place was a decade-long prison sentence, 10 years behind bars. The court deemed him guilty of identity theft, grand theft, and countless violations of privacy, each charge a reminder of every victim he'd left empty-handed. For his family, the sentence was a tragedy. A promising young man, a high school valedictorian with a bright future, lost to a world of crime. For his victims, it was justice. The money he had flaunted so freely had been stolen from those who could least afford to lose it. His story made headlines across the country, a cautionary tale of ambition turned to greed, talent twisted into a tool for theft. In his pursuit of fast money and fame, Joel had traded everything, his future, his freedom, and the trust of those who once believed in him. Inside the walls of his prison, the empire he'd built so recklessly had turned to dust, leaving him with nothing but memories and regret. Joel Ortiz thought he was untouchable. He thought his brilliance could outsmart anyone. But in the end, his choices caught up with him, 
leaving him as a reminder. A young life full of promise, brought down by the price of easy money and the lure of fleeting fame.